Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com. And today we're making a delicious, savory butternut squash with caramelized leeks and thyme. Let me show you how to make it. It's going to be cheaper to buy whole butternut squash that you peel and cut yourself. I've got two large butternut squash here. I'll peel them both with my veggie peeler. And only one half of the squash has the seeds and those need to be removed. So we'll cut it in half, which takes a little bit of elbow grease. Cut it in half again, a little more elbow grease to get through it. You can use a spoon, but I had a melon baller on hand and it works really well to scoop out the seeds. Once the seeds have been removed, simply cut the butternut squash into thick strips like you see here. Then we'll cut them into bite-sized cubes, making sure they are approximately the same size. After all the squash is cut, we can start with the leeks. We're only going to use the light green and white part of the leek for this, so I'll discard the larger green part and start slicing the leek into rings. Once all the leeks are sliced, I soak them in water and I separate the rings. Leeks can be pretty dirty, so I like to wash them thoroughly after they've been sliced. You'll need two pans for this. I'll add olive oil to the butternut squash, and I melted some butter to cook the leeks. I'll add salt to both and then a little bit of fresh pepper to both as well. I'll start by giving the squash a good mix to make sure everything is coated in the olive oil. Then I wanna give the leeks a good stir around the pan as well. I'll put the lid on the squash and let that steam until it's fork tender. I'll stir the leeks a few more times while they're cooking, but we also need to chop that fresh thyme. First, I'll gently pull the leaves off the thyme stems. And then once I have a nice little pile going, I'll give them a fine dice. And my leeks are just about done, so I'll add the thyme to the leeks and give it a stir for a minute or two. My butternut squash is finished, and I'll add that to a large mixing bowl. Then I'll add the caramelized leeks and thyme to the squash. Last step, we're going to mix it all together until it's very well combined and then we'll transfer it to a serving dish. And here's our wonderful savory butternut squash. That's all for now. For this and all the printable recipes, you can visit my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a recipe.